Alright guys, welcome back to another video. It's Gabe. Um, so you might see behind me. Uh, not if you can tell. Well, I'm sure you can tell. It's a new truck. Um, I ended up going to the dealership this morning, saw the used truck, went in and pulled the trigger. I traded my, my other truck to Ram 1500, which turned out was complete garbage. We would have had to put like four grand into it, uh, but that was no good. Um, more than the car was worth, basically. So we saw this deal, 180,000 miles. Uh, let me go ahead and show it to you. Let's do a quick walk around. 5.4 engine, very reliable engine, as you may know. Very minor, it's starting to rust and bubble a little bit. I just went ahead and got this drop hitch right here. Tailgate's pretty nice if you just take a look right here. Let it drop. Has shocks in there, has the bed liner. Mine just had the bed liner right here. As you can see, it has the whole bed liner and the tonneau cover, which is also pretty nice. One thing that I went, didn't think I'd like or care for uh, ended up being pretty good when I had to bring when I brought some bottles uh, to the store. Let's keep going. The lights are kind of blacked out over here. Uh, as you can see, I have gloves on. It's uh, very cold. Uh, I like how this is blacked out here. Let's see, blacked out, blacked out. You can lock the tailgate over here uh, so it's not the super duty so we can go ahead and pop this open here's passenger side weather tech cover is already in there we went ahead and got a phone mount this does have the normal center console uh, here you see all of your thermostat controls and right here's your handle a little pull so it is messy I pulled some old stuff out of that truck that I had, like this, came with the old truck. Uh, I just threw it in here, I'm gonna have to clean this out, it's an air compressor, I don't know whether it works or not. Here's the old hitch, um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. Uh, let's see in here, just wanna show you this rust stopper, set that there. Um, as you can see here, we have some rust in the corners, this is normally your first spot. You're gonna see that rust. So, what I'll do is I'll probably spray some of that right there on it, uh, and that should hopefully stop the rust there. Well, I should keep this truck protected for a long time. F-150, FX-4. I went ahead and stopped at Wine Guards. I uh, show them just look at some plow options. Not this year, not not this year for a plow. Not quite ready. Uh, let's in fact show you the side too. Uh, these fold off with this lever. Just get a little bit of pull. Yep. I uh, stuff in the seats right now, such as our ISO tunes. I still have to clean this out. I know I literally just got it, but there's still some stuff back there. I'm gonna go ahead and close that door. Go ahead and hop in here. Let's get you show you a little bit of the indoor. All right, so you can see in here, pretty spacious. I like the little circle bubble uh, for the mirror. You can see your blind spot. Ford. Uh, let's see in here. Have some receipts, some keys for the hitch. Some money, uh, some old CDs, and some receipts already. Keys, regular normal ignition. Get these in there. Oops. All right, I don't know if you hear that. We're already up and going. We're gonna turn that heat up for while we're waiting. Turn that music off down so you can hear uh, shift on the fly too high for low and for high uh, locking differential on this side you see our trailer brake controller uh, parking brake right there as we work our way up elect electronic uh, foot pedals let's see 
probably couldn't see that. I thought that was actually a pretty cool feature. Uh, you have your lighting for your interior. Uh, this does have automatic lights, uh, which is pretty nice. Pull it out for the uh, lights to get defrosted or whatever you want to call it. But you can see I reset the trip just so we can see how many miles we have. 14.9 miles driven so far. Uh, let's see. Let's let's take a look at this here. Uh, trip B didn't touch that. 198 or 89 miles, so empty. Nine miles to the gallon. Uh, if you have a truck, that's average. If you don't have a truck, that's not average. Um, uses a lot of gas. I mean, it's nothing. Not too much to it, just other than it uses a lot of gas. Uh, it does have a cigarette lighter, which I'll just putting a 12 volt outlet in there. Here's a regular 12 volt outlet. I went ahead and got this monster uh, phone holder. It's actually cool how it, oops, cool how it works. Uh, what else do I need to show? Just regular shifter. Uh, has three, two, and one. Here's your tow mode right there. Tow up there you can see up there you can see where it's out so you got your gas over there right now i probably had a quarter tank um we got your radio stations there uh let's we can go in we can go on the back seat to see how much room there is in the back seat it's gonna beep at me as usual Open this up. Getting in here. It's not that bad. See, not that bad. Vents back here, which is really nice. 12 volt outlet. I mean, you have some room here. Maybe not a ton, but you can make it work. Um, it's not like this is some uber nice truck or anything. It's an 09. So let me take this off. So it's not really like this is an uber nice truck or anything. It's a 2009. I mean, it gets the, it's going to get the job done. Put a tow hitch on it. Uh, we'll be doing a leaf cleanup Wednesday. Uh, it's uh, Saturday right now. So doing a leaf cleanup Wednesday. Uh, we'll be towing the trailer with it. Put some stuff in the bed of the truck. So we'll, we'll be able to really see its performance there. And I'll, I'll, have, I'll have to get, make sure I get a good video for you guys. But, I mean, bare bones, nothing to it. There's not really a backup screen. So, you know, I'm used to some of the cars with the backup screen, so I'm gonna have to put in a backup camera, uh, especially backing up to a trailer. Uh, it has these weather guard right here. I thought it was a little weird. Uh, I know some people have them. I'm not exactly sure 100% what they do or what they're meant for. Um, See, there's a little bubble. You can see your blind spot. There, there's a car coming. Um, you have your regular steering wheel. Your resume set, set, off and on. Uh, you have your media. There it goes. Sink. Please say a command. Um, yeah, volume. All that stuff, I mean. Everything just as a normal work truck. Uh, let's see, there's some cubby holes right there. Right there and down below right there are some cubby holes as well which is kind of cool you can put some of your brochures down there maybe um pretty much it nothing to it let me know if you guys have any questions um also i'd like to give a shout out to troy with tj lawn and landscape um i saw him at lao we've met up before plenty of times i've been in a couple of his videos you may have seen uh phenomenal great guy um, he ended up giving me a GoPro Hero 7. Well, it was more of a giveaway. Long, a little long story to that. But that's what I'm shooting on right now. So you might see it looked better than my other two videos that I posted with the GoPro Hero 5. So I think the colors pop a little bit more with it. So yeah, big shout out to him and thank you. Uh, now I get to do make better quality YouTube videos. Um, that's pretty much it. Nothing to it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. See you on the next one. Oh, one more thing. 
go subscribe to TJ Lawn and Landscape on YouTube. Go visit his Instagram. While you're on Instagram, might as well go visit my Instagram. You know the whole deal. All right, catch up with you guys later. See you on the next one.